should put you should cut these way before you put, put people into it, man. We're making a, a poncho in, with black bags right now. We're setting her up with a with a poncho. We're, we're using we're using plastic um, uh, trash bags. Cheapest, cheapest ponchos in the world. And I got some. Can you give me cigarettes? Mm -hmm. I don't smoke. Yeah. Add this and phone number for me. Sure. Perfect. You got an email too or no? Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll get you. The, uh, the email is for us to send her pictures. This is the first female Firescape painter ever. We had another one, but she was number two. She's number one. This is Janet. What's your last name, Janet? Martin. Out of Texas, Dallas. We have to travel all over the country just to find our first... Uh, <laughs> How many days have you been on the fire escape? Uh, since Friday. So three, four days already on the fire escape. Any problems? Nope. Can you go up and down? Yep. Safe? Yep. Any woman can do this? Nope. No? Not any woman can get on nope. the fire escape? Not any woman can do construction. That's a good point. But can most women do it? If they like construction? Yeah. There you go. Very if good. If they're willing to try. If they're willing to try. This is uh, nothing. If a man can do it, a woman can do it. Right. There you go. All right. Now head up and see you guys. This is all you need to keep uh, the um, most of the body. Now go to the second floor, right? Yeah, just relieve, uh, release the elevator system, yeah. the rope. Okay. And make sure the plug is plugged in. You know, we got power. Okay. All right. So I, I said, don't put it on the, you know. It's a good size for him, I think. No. You like it all the way down to your kneecaps? All right. Turn around then. If you like, uh, this is one of those cheap ponchos, as you can see, already made, and it's the right color. So um, what's important is that we're going to be, as soon as you get men wet, they start getting a little, you know, demotivated. So you got to keep everybody. The other thing, too, I recommend how to get a hat on because the hat's going to keep the wetness off your shoulders um, and keep your head from getting wet. So get your get your white hats on. And uh, same thing for you. Why don't you come in here and make your, your suit? Uh, the only thing I don't like, again, I think this is, uh, this is actually going to be too long. So let's get yours cut. And uh, no, cut it before. So look at your length. You know that's going to be your shoulders. You want it right about here. So you got about eight inches to cut off here. So grab your scissors. And make it and slice just about that much off. Did somebody grab the scissors? Right there. Somebody do the thing. Make a straight line and. If you hold it, yeah. Good. Good. No socks today? You on vacation? Alright, so we got quite a bit of work to do today. Not everybody showed up. We got rain. Our main, my, our main issue today is going to be caulking. And we, we're not going to set up anything inside. So, um, Marco's got to get in here and, and separate all the structural uh, and sort of create the environment in here where we can use that whole back over there for all my structural stuff that's reset up in the back, totally structural, and this whole side is dedicated to paint, uh, paint and caulking, you know what I'm saying? Uh, mainly caulking because we're really, only if the weather goes in our favor and we dry up, but we got to ventilate the place, we got to get the compressor going, but a lot of it, everything is going to run out of here, so in case it really starts pouring, we can just shut the whole thing down in here. So. Nothing outside today, everything inside. So today's going to be a great uh, training session. So the objective today is not that we have to get things done today. Remember that. Is that we have to learn from this from this rain experience so that the next guys coming in know what to do next. All right, so take your time. Don't rush because everything's wet. It's slippery. And we just need to get some production today. We don't have to get all the production today, okay? So be extra careful. All right, Marco, give me that. <clears throat> what's your uh, what's your thought? You got quite a bit of stuff here. Well, my my main thing first is actually uh, start with the plastics. Yeah. Uh, is, that, is that the best thing to start off with? Yeah. Put a uh, start bringing up one at a time, one on each side. Well, you need to go. Run, you have to run your you have to run your lines run first. The, run the lines first. Is that? Yeah. Run so your we'll do that. all the corners and all the back sides. Yeah. And and then you have the little tubes, right? Because that's the only reason you're running. You're running the corners and everything so that you, you have something to clamp onto, right? Because yeah. you need you need a 
Because you're going to marry a tube. We're going to marry short little tubes that we have. All those plastic tubes. Yeah, we have them all here. We're going to marry them in certain areas, certain strategic areas. And then certain areas you're going to use long ones and certain areas you're going to use shorties. Yeah. But the main objective is to stiffen a corner so we don't get any flap and all kinds of stuff. Good. Right. So we need to identify any and all plastic tubing that we have. Which we originally were going to use for one thing, now we're using for something else. Yeah. So let's see what happens with that. Uh, what else are you going to do? We're actually going to put, a, we have uh, some towels. Towels. To wipe down the, uh, the treads. So once we get everything up and we encapsulate, you're going to use the compressor to blow as much water as we can anywhere and everywhere. Yeah. We're going to put fans. Fans. Blowing up. Are we putting the fans down below? Down below, below, just constantly on all the time. Now they're just going to blow constant air, and you'll see how quickly the place will dry if you stop the rain. Okay. Yeah. What else? Set up the caulking stations. Yeah. We've got a lot of caulking along the walls. The, the you got you got towels and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you guys can start already the process. You don't have to. We're we're just talking. You guys know what needs to be done. So. Oh, do they? Oh, do they know what needs to be done? I, I gotta get them the, the tubes, uh, the pipes under that. They should be here somewhere. Yeah, there's in the corner. 